right here. Um, so this is kind of where we left off. Let me just finish it up. There's a few kind of tricky parts that I would do, Kevin. One is I would take my nails and recess them before you assemble the whole thing. Right? So here's my slider. This goes here and here. So the way I recess nails, if they didn't go quite deep enough, with the nail gun is I want to use a, a punch or a nail set. And I gently put on the head of the nail there. And I just tap it down to put it down below the level of the wood. You take a little piece of the wood fill out and you put the top right back on. If you leave this top off for five minutes, the whole thing will dry The out. more you get in there the, and the less excess you wipe off, the less sanding you have to do. So what I would do is I would wood fill these spots. Before I assemble it, I would sand them flush because after it's assembled, it's going to be hard to get a sander in there. Okay. okay, everybody with me to here? Then the next thing I need to do is I want to put this part right here, Tyler, on this, and I want to make sure it's square on here. And there are two ways to um, attach it. I think the best way to attach this is actually without a nail at all. The only exception is if you could get a nail in there to hold it so you don't have to clamp it and then cover that nail up with the jam top. Okay? So I want to take my overall width of four and a half, subtract um, three and five eighths from that, four and a half minus three and five eighths. What is that? Seven eighths? Yep. And then what's half of seven eighths? Seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths. This thing right here is kind of cool. I can slide it down and set it on that 7 sixteenths. And then I could mark 7 sixteenths in. I want to keep it really slight. And then I also want to center it this, this way as well, right? So, three and a quarter, that's actually about the same. So I'm going to mark it in this way. So I'm going to glue it. And I want to make sure this side's a little more torn up. There's a little crack, so I want that side hidden. The real bond is the glue. I'm going to line it up to my marks. And not only is it lined up to my marks, I also want to make sure that it's square. All right, so I want to make sure that I'm square this way. You want really light marks so that you don't have to sand them off. And I want to make sure I'm square this way. So I'm square this way. Square that way. I'm centered. And then I'll clamp it and let it dry. So it's clamped, glued and clamped. I'm square here. Square here, and I'm centered. Everybody good to there? Fingers never in the path of the nail. Cover it up, yeah. So I'm actually gonna put one more nail in so I can finish it. Ideally, a single countersink the nails, but I'm gonna cover it up with this ring. So I won't see those nail holes anyway. Okay. Then I'm gonna have to do the exact same thing here. I want to glue it, clamp it, nail it. I'm going to be nailing up through the bottom. Very important that you countersink the nail holes going up this way because you don't want to put it down on a wood tabletop and have them scratch. You don't need to wood fill them so you don't see them because it's on the bottom, but you do need to countersink them so well, they don't scratch. I'm going to put this in here. That lines up perfectly because we cut on a CNC router. And then I want it to stop coming out like right here so the whole thing doesn't pull out and all the candy falls out. So the way I'm going to stop it is I'm going to figure out where I want it to stop, right there. Take my pencil, mark a stop point right there. Take the back of this. I want to center it so the overall width is uh, 1 and 5 eighths, 13 eighths, 13 sixteenths. quarter inch bit. I'm not drilling all the way through. I'm just going to drill part of it 
And I'm going to use a quarter inch dowel, this little bead of glue. Any, any thoughts before I glue this in? Yeah, that's absolutely right. If both of these are glued, I'm done. I can't put it back in. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't glue this one yet. Okay, so don't don't forget to do that. Clean up your excess glue. Everything nice and sanded. This goes in here. And you might want to really wait to glue this peg in until the very end and candy's in and everything works. This is going to get held on because here with nails. And I'm going to use these small little brads with big heads, but I don't think they're going to be able to punch through this top, the metal top. So I'm going to use my punch as well. Just get a little hole through there. You have to actually lay it out and mark it. So it's going to look like this. And then it's really hard to nail these in on the inside. So I'm going to use needle nose pliers. Kind of exact here. get it started right there. So I'm just getting it started there. And then I can't get the hammer in without denting this. So I'm going to use the nail set again. Tyler wants, uh, Dylan wants some M&Ms? Yes, I do. Beautiful. Yeah.